Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to see how we go about creating a distribution group. Now, distribution groups only work if you have a program running on your domain that can utilize them, such as Microsoft Exchange or some other program that can utilize the feature of having distribution groups in Active Directory. So the reason we create distribution groups is so that we can have a quick an easy way of emailing a large number of people at one time without having to select or write an email to each individual user. To create my distribution group, I'm just going to go to my default users container, right click, I'm going to select new, I'm going to select group. I'm going to give my new distribution group a user friendly name, and in this case, I'm going to call it payroll. Under group type, we're going to change that to distribution. And over here under group scope, you have three options, domain local, global, or universal. Domain local means that the distribution group can only be used with inside of the domain to which Active Directory resides. Global, that means that all the domains in the forest can use this group. And universal means that the distribution group can be used to communicate across multiple forests. Now if I double click the name of the distribution group, you'll see that I get the distribution group's properties. And here you can see that you can change the group type from distribution to security and back and forth as you need. Over here in the group scope, I can move it between global and universal. Domain local is grayed out because it doesn't make any difference. Now if I need to add members, I can just go up here and I can click on the add button, type in the name of that user, just type in Johnny, I'll check a name, and there's Johnny Test, and I'll say OK. Notice that it has an email address for Johnny Test. That's because this is a distribution group, and it needs to have a program such as Microsoft Exchange to be able to use this distribution group. I'll say OK to that, and I'll click on Apply and OK, and I can just keep adding the users as needed to this distribution group so that I'm sending out a single message to everyone in the group as opposed to every individual that works in payroll. 